Welcome you guys to the skinny wheel versus wide wheel debate. So in this video we are going to be comparing the Bones V3 to the conical full. So I don't know the width difference exactly, but what I can tell you is the riding surface difference on these is roughly a quarter inch. So these have, you know, maybe for you metric folk about six mil more riding surface than the V3. So that's going to make these substantially smoother when riding over rough ground and weird terrain. Now there's actually a fairly substantial weight difference, at least when it comes to wheels. So the Bones V3 are seven grams lighter per wheel than the Conical Full. These are both 52 millimeter, by the way. Now that's only gonna be 28 grams in total over your board, which is a pretty small amount. However, as soon as you start to get like a 10 gram difference, you do start to notice it because there's a multiplying effect. So it's not just 10 grams from here to here. What it is, is it's 10 grams difference multiplied over whatever this lever is. And I'm not a physicist, so I've never done that math to figure out how much more energy it takes to kick down your tail, but I feel it. When I switch from a nice trim wheel to a wide wheel, I feel a substantial difference. So the V3s are a super nimble, easy to flip wheel. They also slide pretty easily, at least in the 103 formula. In these, they're actually pretty sticky. Way stickier than a 99A Spitfire Formula 4. But if you like that, we'll just call it grippier. Now, I know I'm on the verge of losing you guys if we don't get into some skating. So first, let's get into a session on this setup when I had the Bones V3s. So that was a fun session, and I actually met a fellow aspiring YouTube skater, which is rare as hen's teeth. Most Vancouver skaters are way too cool to ever put themselves on YouTube. Anyways, that was Adriano. I'm gonna link his channel in the description or in some little box right up here. Either way, he's just getting started, and I'm stoked to introduce him. Okay, but let's get into how these nice skinny wheels feel. So first off, there's a lot of truck room. What I mean is I have quite a bit of space. So there's actually almost a quarter inch more space in between the wheels when you're riding V3s than when you're riding conicals. And I noticed that a fair bit when say doing grinds on transition. These are 144 Indies and I noticed that they feel pretty narrow. I actually feel like I'm riding a 139 once I put these wheels on and I almost feel like I'm riding a 149 once I put the V3s on. They both have a pretty straight profile when you look at it. So in terms of lock-in, they're both really similar. Okay, next let's get into the outside measurement of the wheels. So these conical fulls on a 144 truck measure just under eight inches. So you could actually still ride an eight and a quarter truck on an eight inch deck with these 52 millimeter conical fulls. If you go up in diameter though, it's probably not gonna work as well. Now the one thing I do notice is when I have wheels like this on, my flip tricks start to feel really boxy. It takes more effort to flip my board around. Okay, now the space from the outside to outside with V3s is 7.75. So even though I'm riding an eight and a quarter deck, my wheel space, the width, is actually only 7.75. So riding the V3s makes it way easier to flip around. Okay, now I know I'm getting close to losing you guys again, so we better get to a session on these conical fulls. And also, in this session, I wanna introduce you guys to Lucas, a fellow Vancouver ripper. He likes a nice big wheel, and at the end of this session, we're gonna let him describe what his favorite wheel is and why.
I really like the radial shape. I used to ride conicals. A little but rounder I, on the edge. A little rounder, a little fatter. I like the contact patch on these ones. Mm -hmm. I've kind of returned to them. The Oskis were a little skinnier and they felt really good, but when they got down, they were just a little too small for me. So when these ones get down to the nitty gritty, they still got a lot of attack on the on the surface. And nice. Here, tell me again what wheels those are. These are the uh, these are the Cater ones specifically. They're Spitfire, they're 99 durometer, and they are the radial fulls, I believe. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lucas. It was a pleasure to film him skating and a pleasure chatting with him after our session. Okay, so let's get to how I feel about these conical fulls. Now, the number one thing that I love about these wheels is just the way they feel riding over basically any surface. I mean, they're so much faster than something like a V3 or even a Spitfire um, Classic, which is actually my favorite wheel. I love the smooth, flowy speed of these wheels. The lock-in is great. Just, you know, I have a bit of a harder time finding that truck and it feels slightly less stable. Now, one thing I didn't get into, if you're comparing wheels of exactly the same formula, like the same material, then these conical fulls are gonna be a lot more grippy and these narrow wheels are gonna be a lot more slidey. But, as the case may be, because of the different formulas, these bones are substantially grippier. Anyways, that's all I have to say about these two types of wheels. Hopefully you guys learned something in this. I was super stoked to welcome some fellow Vancouver skaters into the video this time. Hopefully we can get some more of that going on in future videos. Thanks for watching and till the next video. Go ride your wheels, shred them, whatever they are. Doesn't matter to me as long as you love them.